Okay, so all those who are working in the intensive care unit should be aware of the term which is called as ICU acquired weakness, ICU AW. Basically, it is a critical illness, neuromyopathy, means nerves are also involved and the muscles are also involved. Means those patients who remain on long term on the ventilation or those who are long term immobilized for their in the ICUs have electrolyte imbalance or certain drugs they have received, they develop the weakness. Now you need to pick it up clinically. So what is the characteristics? It is usually diffuse and symmetric. All four limbs must be involved. It can involve the respiratory muscles. That's why it becomes very difficult for the patient to get vena of the ventilator. Usually it spares the face, the facial expression and the conscious level. This is spared. The patient will be conscious. The patient will not be uh, having any uh, nerve pulses like that until unless there is a stroke or something in that. So how do we diagnose it clinically? or grade it clinically so basically what we use is medical research council scale mrc and there in that 12 group of muscles are used six on the left side six on the right side and the score is maximum score is 60. Uh, so if the score comes less than 48 then we say that this muscle patient is having uh, muscle weakness or um, ICU acquired weakness. So what are the 12 group of muscles uh, he tested? So on the left side, six, right side, six. So on the left side, suppose limb abduction, then you have forearm flexion, then wrist extension, three, and in the limbs, hip flexion, knee extension, and dorsiflexion of the feet. So six on this side, six on the big side. So why 60 is the coming 12 into 5, 60? Because when we talk about the motor power, we grade the motor power, we grade in five uh, range. Zero means no power of the patient. Five means the patient is having full power of the muscles, able to raise the hand with resistance. One means there is little bit of twitch of fasciculations. If you see or you just palpate when this. Two means the patient is able to move the limbs uh, when the gravity is eliminated like this. Three means the patient can lift the limb or hands without any resistance. Fourth means patient is able to lift the hand or the leg with mid moderate resistance. And five means we are with even with full resistance, the patient is able to lift the limb. So this is how you grade. So 12 fives are 60. So that's it. So if it is less than 48, then we say that this patient is having can have ICU acquired weakness. So this must you should know diffuse muscle weakness involving all four limbs, respiratory muscles, face is spared and the grading is MRC scale. Grading is uh, to maximum uh, score is 60. If it is less than 48, then we call it ICU acquired weakness. Do read more about it.